In 2040, I'll be 35 years old. Turning 36. Wait a second, 39. 36. In 2040, a lot of things are probably going to have changed because even now, the rate of climate change is rapidly increasing. Like, I live kind of close to the beach, so maybe in 2040, my house would be under the water by then. Oh, it scares the shit out of me. Can I swear? I've been scared about climate change since, like, grade two. You're, like, told to write, like, a fairy tale or, like, a children's book or whatever. My children's books are always about, like, polar bears dying. I've grown up in Elba and Rapahu my whole entire life, and, like, to see everything kind of go to waste because of us. It's like, where did we go wrong? My grandparents placed me in an area about sustainability and aloha aina, and they taught me that, you know, Hawaiians back in the old days, they take and they give and they share. It got me into that kind of mindset of, we gotta like do what they did instead of always, you know, taking from the land and never giving it back. Now the big question is, what are we going to do about it? How are we going to change our behaviors to help? What new policies can our political leaders put in place to make changes fast enough that they matter? How can we adapt? Here at Civil Beat, we want to put an intense spotlight on climate change, how it's affecting Hawaii now, and what the islands may look like in the years to come. We're calling our project Hawaii 2040 because that's when the latest studies say we're going to feel the worst effects of climate change. That's much sooner than scientists had originally thought. Over the coming year, we want to bring you, our readers, into the discussion in an up-close and personal way. We'll be visiting communities and neighborhoods throughout Oahu to find out how climate change is affecting you personally and what you think should be done. Together, we can make our voices heard. It's alarming, but it's not hopeless.